Hi, YouTubers. I am going to discuss what day I am on today for my year in the day training. And basically, it's Seasons of Spirit. And it's actually kind of interesting because uh, the task involves determining where you, what your individual spiritual season is. And the different seasons mean different things. For example, spring will mean newness, beginnings, and birth, and potential, awakening, freshness, and individual way. Summer, achievement, fruit, um, uh, sorry, of the full potential, activity, growth, uh, expression. And fall is ripening, wisdom, maturity, Realization, gratitude, reflection. Winter is silence, internal expression, inward movement, and release, repose. And I wanted to read a little bit from the book on day 53. I'm not going in order of the book, by the way. Again, for people who are new to watching my channel, Wicca, A Year and a Day by Timothy Roderick. And... I'm not going in order because I want to be able to experience the the um, the celebrations of the cycle as they occur. For example, the Beltane rituals and stuff that are discussed in this book, I want to be able to experience them as it they're coming about with the seasons. I don't want to just... That's the only gripe I really have about this book is the fact that they're all clumped together in one section. So you're just... You'd be doing back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back, um, Sabbaths instead of, um, you know, going with the cycle. So I'm going out of order a little bit. I've already done a year in, year in a training before. This is just kind of like a redo. And this book probably co covers more than what I ever wa went into depth for for my first training anyway. So it's kind of nice. Okay, now back on tasks. Um, I want to read a little bit from this Season of Spirits. And, well, this book, it really discusses a lot about finding your spiritual season and where you are. Do you feel like... I know, honey. Christopher had a little bit of an accident on Monday. He fell and had to get eight stitches on Monday. He was... I know. I know, baby. I know. It, it probably looks really, really horrible, guys. I mean, I was scared to death on Monday. Basically, what happened was we were running. He was running on the porch, and we have a, or not on the porch. Sorry, on the grass, and we had stepping stones, and he tripped over one of the stepping stones and went head head first into the the corner of the brick uh, step and hit right here on Monday and had to get eight stitches, and so he's a little. He's not doing very. I know, baby. You're hurting. Poor baby. He's been kind of cranky. Okay. You say hi. He feels a little better now. Um, okay, so I'm going to read a little bit from this book. Just this little first part. It says, Spirit develops much like the changing of the seasons. In the environment, we notice that the turn of seasons... Yeah, ushers yeah, in yeah. change of growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever notice, yeah, yeah. springtime yeah, yeah. tends to be more of a busier time a year, yeah, yeah. as opposed to summer, yeah, yeah. where you kind of you're kind of lazy and everything is laid back and relaxed. And there's just it, this book, this day particularly talks about where you are spiritually with what season you feel in tune with. And it actually took me a couple days to answer this question because I it I was torn between both spring and fall. My I feel that my spring um my spiritual season yeah. is spring because I feel like I am newly exploring my spirituality. I'm I'm experiencing my spirituality in a new in new light, I guess. And yeah. so therefore it brings 
new beginnings and almost like a, a new me, a new birth of me, my, my new image, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And because of that, I have I see that I have a potential to to grow as opposed to summer where it's basically matured and the growth is already there. However, I also feel that I fall into the fall, fall into the fall, sorry. I fall into the autumn category as well because it talks about wisdom and maturity and um stop it. And a realization and a gratitude. And I feel all those things and I feel like what I've learned in the past spiritually has helped me shape who I am today. And it's given me that wisdom that I have. Yet I almost feel like I'm relearning certain things. I'm relearning things again for the first time, especially since I've been started <laughs> year in a day training. Do you think that's funny? You want to wear my hair like a wig? Yeah. And I wrote that, I know, hi, yeah, although these two are opposites of one another, you know, you're making this very difficult, and you're very distracting, although these two are opposites of one another, I feel like that I have both the seasonal quality both the seasonal qualities in my spirituality. And it's kind of interesting because to me, they're both opposites of one another. Yet, they fit perfectly well together for me. And, um, blah, blah, I'm sorry. I just wanted to read through my notes because I'm trying to make this a really not long video at all. Ow. Okay, I think I pretty much covered it when I said reborn again. Uh, basically, that's how I feel. Like, I'm. stop it. That hurts. Mommy, that hurts. Okay? I feel as if I am reborn again into my spirituality, which makes me feel like I'm at a spring level in my spiritual development. And fall because I feel like I've already done a lot of this work already. So I already have a lot of the wisdom, and I believe because of how open-minded I am in regards to spirituality, that that also puts me in a fall category as well. Yeah, well, that's all I wanted to talk about, and I wanted you guys to just, maybe you guys should think about what spiritual season do you feel like you fall under? Are you... Do you feel like it's new to you, your spirituality, or such as spring? Or do you feel like you've reached spiritual enlightenment and achievement, such as summer, or wise in, like, the fall or autumn? And winter would be, you know, inward and silence and oh, just the release. And um, so where do you feel like you fall spiritually, you know? in um, regards to the seasons. Um, well, that's it, guys. So I will talk to you guys later. Blessed be.